I'm here today to offer a short tutorial on some modern and traditional approaches to playing the triangle as a percussive instrument. There are different sizes of triangles. There are big ones, some medium sized ones, even some really small ones. And here I have them all hanging and that's one way you can play them. But to me, if I'm trying to do much with them, I don't have much control over them this way. So I like to hold them with a string like this. So let me show you how to tie this knot real quick. Super simple. You just want to take a string, double it up. You want to use that loop at the bottom naturally. You want to tie a knot here to where it's, you know, about not even an inch from the, there, the bottom. And then I want to tie one more knot on top of that in the same place just to give myself a bigger knot to hold on to. So that, what you can do there, is take this, slide it through the open end of the triangle. The neat thing about triangles is they all have three sides, and there's a little opening here that helps let the sound out and let a string in. So you can take a triangle beater or a tent stake or anything, and just get a nice warm tone. This is my favorite triangle to play in my hand. It fits my hand good, it sounds good, it has a nice warm sustained tone and it's about five and a half inches on each side. So to get a nice tone, you just kind of hold it, let it dangle, and you pull the sound out of the triangle. The sound is already in the triangle, and we're just pulling it out the outside of the bar. We're not trying to push it through, and we're not trying to leave it on there. You can get some sounds from the other sides, but really I recommend getting your main playing side as this one across from the break in the triangle. Once you get this nice long tone, this ding sound, you can start playing with some rolls. Here's a corner roll. It's used in a lot of um, orchestral music and stuff like that. And you just kind of take it and go up, do a crescendo, however you want to do it. You can also do a dinner type roll, which is kind of like on a farmhouse with the big cast iron bell getting to the people from the field. And what's cool about that type of roll is you're going on all three sides, which gives you this triplet. So you can isolate that triplet and play quarter notes and eighth note triplets within there. And you can just play around with that concept playing on the inside there. If you're playing on the inside, this bottom one is your main tone. But playing on the outside is another thing, which we'll talk about in a minute. You can also, if you go back and forth up here, it's almost too slow to be a roll. You hear each ting, which makes it more of a timekeeper. So if we do that up here, but I'm going to mute it by touching this. You hear it a little bit more. So now I'm going to unmute it every once in a while. So say I'm playing 16th notes, I'll take my fingers off of it to give an open sound on the and, and then close it for the uh. And I see that used in um, Brazilian triangle playing and Cajun triangle playing and stuff like that. So once you've got those techniques down, you also want to be able to play on the outside more and do some syncopated rhythms um, but before we get into the syncopated rhythms, we want to go back and forth between playing an open sound and then muting it. You can even do it faster. And then you can start to take those long sounds and the short sounds and create your own syncopated rhythms. and you can do whatever you want there. You can play a bunch of cowbell rhythms, kind of doing the open mouth tone versus the closed tone from a cowbell as well. So you're kind of 
muting the fingers on the tambourine or on the triangle just like you would if you were playing another type of instrument, say a tambourine or a frame drum or something. I hope this little tutorial gives you a couple more ideas to think about the triangle. I know a lot of people have triangles in their musical um, repertoire at, in the part of their um, music collection and um, or at school and they don't really know how to become friends with the triangle. So I hope this gives you a couple ways to make the triangle more of a musical ally for you. Thanks so much. Hope you have a great day.